So welcome everybody to another Behind the Team. Today we'll continue our history on the An Lushan Rebellion of the Tang Dynasty. Last we left off, An Lushan had become extremely close to the Emperor to the point that the Emperor had him built a mansion in the capital and given him unrestricted access into the palace. But good times were not to last as An's success against the Kitan was finally thwarted, not once but twice. His first army was defeated due to heavy rains. Then, before another campaign could really get going, a rebellion by one of his generals, Li Xianzong, was the other. Adding to all this stress was the fact that one of his main supporters in court, the High Chancellor Li Lingfu, became very sick and then died. And the person who took over was Yang Guozong, the cousin of Yang Guifei, the Emperor's favorite consort, who unlike Guifei could not stand An Lushan. One of his first actions was to denounce the life of Li Lingfu and might I add, with the help, probably force, of An Lushan, after which he made accusations against An Lushan to Emperor Shuangzong that he was plotting a rebellion, but the accusations of An's rebellion was dismissed. So Guozong told the Emperor to summon An to Chang'an to answer for the accusation, and that An Lushan would not come, showing his intent to rebel. However, instead An did show up declaring his innocence. Thereafter, the emperor was on An's side even more, seeing this as nothing more than just court politics played by Guozong. Still, by 755 AD, An submitted a petition to have 32 native Han generals under him replaced by non-Han ones. This was accepted by the emperor, but opposed by Yang Guozong and his fellow chancellor Wei Jiansu, who saw the petition as a sign of impending rebellion. Yang and Wei then suggested a solution that An be promoted to Chancellor, although only with ceremonial powers, and that his three commands be divided between his three deputies. Although Emperor Suangzong initially agreed, in the end, he still felt fond of An and instead sent the Unch, Fu Chiuling, to send fresh fruits to An and observe him. He was ceremoniously bribed, as usual, by An and sent a favorable report. Yang Guozhong though was persistent and not only continued in his reports against An, but executed some of An's supporters in secret. This obviously crossed some line, as thereafter we can tell An was preparing for something big when he refused to attend the funeral of the imperial prince in the summer of 755 AD. And he also did not offer to send a large number of horses to Chang'an in the autumn. At this point, even the emperor was starting to get worried and summoned him to the capital again. But this time, no reply or person came to Chang'an, that is, till the winter of 755 AD, when An claimed he had received a secret edict from Emperor Xuanzong to remove Yang Guozong and march his men in the direction of the capital, with the best troops of the realm, I might add. The Emperor reacted by commissioning the general Feng Changqing as military governor of Fangyang and Pinglu, which if you remember from my last video, was part of An's domains, and also tasked the general with the defense of the empire. Feng was also sent to the eastern capital, Luoyang, to build out the defenses there, with another general, Gao Xianzi, who built out a secondary defense at the Shan Commandery, roughly in modern San Menxia, Henan. He executed An Qingzong and An's first wife, Lady Kang, and forced An Qingzong's present wife, the Lady Rong Yi, to take her own life. An Lushan Do was still moving. His vast army of about 160,000 plus and crossed the Yellow River, capturing Chen Liu and Ying Yang in the early part of January of the new year. Upon reaching Luoyang, he pushed aside the ill-prepared army of Fengs, who then went to join forces with Gao and both then retreated to the Tong Pass. They did not last long there as soon the emperor executed them for incompetence and replaced them with Ge Su Han, who hated An Lushan long before the rebellion. An, who was still in Luoyang, did not proceed his army quickly though, and the reason many say was because he was preparing to declare himself emperor there. So that is the start of the rebellion of An Lushan. Next time, we will see the rise of a new emperor, of a new dynasty. Will he succeed? If you like content like this, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.